seed in the tournament. Gonzaga currently number one in the nation, hosting Santa Clara. Zags haven't lost a game in Spokane in four years, a stretch of 66 straight home wins. Among other streaks, Gonzaga has 29 straight double-digit wins against WCC opponents, beat the Broncos by 32 last month in a 115-83 victory. The Zags covered the spread, and the game went well over the total. Kenny, what do you like most in tonight's game in Spokane? I hope it's a lot of the same we saw the first time around. 90 possessions in that game in a blowout, a 32-point blowout, 90 possessions. You don't see 90 possessions unless you see a game come down to the wire and it's foul, free throws, layup foul. Those kind of games, you can get an extra 10 possessions in a game late. This one, 90. And you know why? Herb Sendak, he, he dabbled in the Princeton offense years ago at North Carolina State, then at Arizona State, sat with Pete Corral, learned that offense inside and out, and he's turned the Princeton offense into an up-tempo offense. They run the same thing as Princeton does. They just don't have to run it as many times, and they're so much faster. His offense has been tremendous all year. They rank 40th in college basketball in efficiency. The defense won 30. We know the Zags are going to get up and down number one in the country in pace. Uh, Herb Sendex team's 18th. So you got two top 20 teams, already played a 90-possession game. All I really need, I already calculated, 80 possessions because that's going to get me over 95 points for the Zags, and it'll get enough for me for Santa Clara to get over this total, over 164. This will be a fun one to watch. I'll be quick on this. I'm going to take Gonzaga to win. Obviously, I'll take him to cover. I spoke with Mark Few about this Santa Clara team just uh, less than two weeks ago, and he said this is clearly the best Santa Clara group that Herb Sendick has ever had, uh, and yet Gonzaga destroyed them the last time, and I don't think it's going to be that close here either. This is a wonderful opportunity for Gonzaga, not just to get really good games again out of Drew Timmy and Chet Holmgren, two guys who are in the running to be first-team All-Americans, uh, but I kind of look at this game as... You know, is Andrew Nembhard going to really have a big night here? Uh, will you have like a Hunter Salas who's still coming along as a freshman? Like these kind of opportunities at home against viable opponents, Mark Few traditionally likes to see who he can rely on as March is coming right around the corner. Gonzaga wins, and I think it covers, and this team is obviously in the mix as good as any other one to win the national championship this season. Well, for Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.